Good evening. Welcome to Easy Listening for Armageddon. Please make yourself comfortable. We have some Ritz crackers with some cheese. There's some grapes in the back, and there's an assortment of drinks to your right. Thank you for listening to my class. We're going to be taking you on a magical journey this evening. The journey that Nostradamus told you about almost 500 years ago. Yes, that's right. The end of the world. We'll be starting out this evening with a little duet by uh, the Four Horsemen. They're going to be rocking to you a little with some of their favorites. And only the greats will be coming back tonight. Greats like Liberace, Les Baxter, Sununu, and of course my favorite, Spiro Agnew. Armageddon is just for everybody, but really, Armageddon's for a select few, and you know what, <laughs> that select few is you, yeah you, even you in the back trying to sneak out, there's no escaping us man, we're at the end of it all man, it takes a firm belief in the Christian calendar, to really understand what Armageddon means. I mean, like, a lot of people are gonna really miss out. Like Mayans, you know, I guess Jews have a different calendar, so they'll probably miss out too. But then again, I think they have the same sort of idea of Armageddon that we have, so maybe they'll be there, but Buddhists, they're assed out, man. I mean, they're just not gonna make it. They have to wait for their own Armageddon. But us, man, Yeah, I like this. 